Hello, my name is Sally Pinto, and I'm the program director for the Yonkers NORC Neighborhood Naturally Occurring Retirement Community. We serve seniors 60 plus in Northeast Yonkers. We are under the auspices of WJCS and the Yonkers Office for the Aging. We also have a resource specialist and a nurse on staff. We conduct virtual programming when partnership with the Yonkers Public Library on a daily basis. Enjoy the program. Namaste, everyone. Thank you for joining me today on Saturday morning, this unusually warm Saturday that and without rain that I can host you all from my backyard. I know I've done it in the summer many times, but it's a rare occasion that I can do it, you know, in the fall. So uh, I want, I, I don't even know how fast we have come through to the end of the year. It seems like it just started, but now we are going to be starting 2022 and very soon. And um, thank you for joining us and be healthy every uh, month with me. Uh, as usual, we will start first with a short meditation session, which will calm our brain and um, body to exercise better and be connected with nature. So lower your eyelids and just um, enjoy if you can hear the sound of all the birds that are chirping today like it's spring. Uh, just hear them uh, and, and try to absorb that sound. There are so many wonderful sounds in nature, and birds are a big part of that for me. I close my eyes and I just focus on the sounds that are around me. I can identify numerous birds that are all around me. Robin, the blue jay, house sparrow. call out to each other and their mates, and then the mates respond, have like a little conversation going on. And I bring the food out in the feeders behind me, all tell their mates about what's, what's in the feeder, and they all congregate. You may see that when you are done with your meditation, the little pit mites and the chickadees all partaking the food that's a buffet for them. There are other sounds that I hear in my neighborhood, like Aeroplanes flying, and helicopters, and everybody is fixing their roofs in my neighborhood. Only notice these sounds when you focus on sounds specifically. Usually ignore all those sounds because just our brain cannot handle so much information, sound, sight, commercials, kids crying for things or asking for stuff. It's just such a cacophony of sound. When we close our eyes and we just focus on the sound and we are in nature, we can begin to appreciate Know, croaking of the frog, 
feathers of a bird flying, the wind. And, and just focus on the sounds. When thoughts come to your brain about other things that you have to do, or places you have to get to, just let those thoughts pass on, but just acknowledge them and let them fly away with a with a bird on the bird's wings or something. Just be present in what you are doing now. The birds always have to be present with what they are doing at that moment. They get too engrossed in like eating or, you know, playing or bathing. They could be a target for predators. So they, they always have to be present. For humans, because we, we don't have any predators anymore, we don't have that fright or flight response, or if we have, it comes up in all the wrong places. Somebody annoys us with, you know, overtaking us in the car on the highway or something like that. Those, those are just our brain. That person is not a predator. It's annoying, but not a predator. Not going to die because of that. The birds have to be forever present. I can always learn something from another creature, how they manage themselves. You can learn from something from everyone, humans and animals. So just take a deep breath, let it all out. <sighs> Once again. So take deep, three deep breaths. Let it out. When you feel stressed or, uh, you know, anxious or panic coming on, you can take these five seconds and take the three deep breaths and let it all out. You'll feel calm right away. You won't be so angry then. I have to remind myself also that. If I just take three deep breaths every day, I will not have much anger and my mind will be calmer. Of course, we want to go beyond the three breaths today and calm our brain even further. Relax it. Focus on the sounds and our breathing. Not judging our breathing, just breathing. Maybe slow breathing, shallow breathing, deep breathing. Just noticing that we are breathing. And that is the force of life. That is the nutrient we provide from the environment to our body. As I'm noticing my breath, Sally and Z asked me earlier on Ginger too if it was cold. It wasn't cold when I started the class. Now I feel a little nippiness around me. And it may be because when I was getting ready for this class, I was all hectic. And, uh, my daughter was asking me for passwords before she left for somewhere, and I was trying to find the link, and 
seem all hot and anxious. Now that my body is calmer and I'm breathing and more relaxed, I actually feel a little bit more nippy. That's what the body does. It raises our temperature when we have anxiety or we feel a little stressed. I was feeling a little stressed about this class today. not bad to have a little stress in life, but then we need to have the tools necessary to bring our stress levels down in a manner that's not unhealthy. Unhealthy ways of managing stress would be drinking or smoking. But healthy ways would be to just tell our brain to calm down and focus on the breath and know that this too shall pass, that the class will begin and the class will end and people will get what they get from the class. I can just offer the class and that's all that's in my control. So keep noticing your breath. As the thoughts come about stress, as I speak about it, let that pass too. Imagine a flame between the eyebrows of your head. This, this flame is fed by your breath. So keep nice deep breath. Flame burn well. And it warms your head and brain. You can feel light all around you, just right inside you, it's warming you from your head to your toes. So even on a cold day, you can be warm from inside. Just keep breathing and let that flame warm you, give you strength, energy. Make you more joyous in your life. A little bit of joy go a long way for your health. Then we can send the good wishes in our hearts to all our family members, our friends, our community. You know how sometimes when you are in a car and you're looking at the driver next to you and they're looking straight ahead, but then they suddenly turn and look at you. How does that happen? Some energy must be going out from me that makes them aware of that. I've seen that in dogs and cats and animals, they're very aware if somebody is staring at them you know, they know it and they they can feel it. In the same way, when we send good energy 
So even though they are not right next to us in a car, I believe they can feel it. So use this time to send good energy and your thoughts and prayers for people who are close to you and people who are in the community that you don't even know. And even people who you don't like or who are your enemies you consider, just send them this good love to your flame that smoke and it may reach them. It won't cost you anything to just be nice in your brain. Even though you don't want to be nice, maybe by words, because somebody has hurt you, you can be nice to them in your brain. That's a good chemical being released. Last few moments of enjoying the nature's calls, the blue jays, it might everybody seems to be so active today. Thank you everyone. We can now open our eyes very slowly. And I love this moment. I look forward to it when I will open my eyes and really see the first beautiful thing. Um, right next to me on my left are the beautiful red geraniums. And I'm going to take a look to my left so I will see that first when I open my eyes. So red and, and after my eyes being closed for so long, it's just so wonderful to see all these red flowers still blooming in November. So exciting. So let's see that we are perfect timing. We did 20 minutes of uh, meditation and now we can start with our yoga session. So let's see. Maybe we will start with our hands today. We are using it a lot with the phones and things. So maybe you can just stretch your hands out this way. Put your arms straight. Open your fingers. See how beautiful they are and how long your fingers are and all your tendons. Then bring your wrist down and, and bring it up. And bring it down and then bring it up. Down, up, down, up. Now you can bring your two hands together in Namaste and bring it to your heart and feel your sternum and your thumb pushing against your sternum and then breathe and let the carbon dioxide out and the oxygen in. Feel the energy that is going through your heart and all the way to your fingertips. Now look at your fingertips and then look up at the screen. At your fingertips, look up at your screen. Put your fingertips up at the screen. And then we're going to gently move our head up so we can look at the sky and all the clouds moving. Then bring it to center and move it up again. Sky to the center. Then I'm going to look to my right. I can tell you if I go a little bit more right with the tip mice on the other feeder, just enjoying the day today. And I look to the left, there's like seven sparrows, just I don't know what worms or what they're eating out of the grass. 
and bring it to center, then take it to right, looking at the tit mice and the chickadees, bring it to left, looking at sparrows, bring it to center, looking at each other, and to the right. Oh my God, white breast did not hatch, just showed up. Very active day today. Up at the sky again and the clouds moving. When I was a kid, I would look at the sky and try to imagine all the shapes of the clouds, what they look like. Today, they're just big blobs. Down. Bring it to center. And then another thing that you can do is take your left hand and put it under your left butt. Take your right hand and your head and just gently pull, making sure that this ear is moving up to the sky. As much as you can do, feel the nice stretch you feel on the left side. And you can take your right hand, put it under your butt, take your left hand, gently bringing it up, your ear up. The idea is get the ear up. Feel the stretch. Do it a two or three times at your own pace, how long you want to do it for. Just love this stretch. So good and so tight in the morning, really opening it up for me. Also exercising my arm muscles, biceps that need so much help. All the time breathing through it, not holding your breath at any point. want to take the tension out, not make it worse. Now open your arms wide like this if you can. Bring it forward and back. Back. Feel your scapula in the back. Just squeeze them. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. I feel so good after this class. I do it with you all, and I get a really good workout too, even though I'm just sitting on the chair. And then you can give your triceps a stretch. Triceps a stretch. And then when you are on the chair, you can use it to your advantage. It's a handle. Or you can use your own high. Then look to the left shoulder with your eyes. Your eye muscles will also get a great stretch. Up. Side. Oh, my God. This sit mouse is really hungry today. Getting away. Up. Another tricep. Stretch, tricep stretch, and down as namaste, touch your forehead. Thank you, thank you, my brain, for, for putting all this information in there so I can share it with you. Now we're going to do some hand exercises. Just make this cross of your fingers like this and then just Rotate them around to your wrist. Get this good workout. Movement. And then change however your fingers were. Like put the other thumb out or something. And then you can move it in a different direction. Just oiling up your wrist joint. Oh, there's another exercise I forgot that I learned that's really good for your neck while we were doing the neck exercises. I want to break up this hand exercise now and do that. So when you're looking straight, put these two index fingers like this or like this, however you want it. Put an exercise your arm muscles also. 
you can keep it like this and then move your neck like side to side. They look silly. So good for your neck to have this lateral movement. So just move it side to side. Nobody's watching you. I'm getting recorded, but none of you. So you can do this. It's going to be really good. I feel a little click. I do it. It's okay. If you can't, that's fine. Now, the other exercise for the neck is your, your T1 vertebra. It's called the axis. It can move back and forth, okay? So we need, and there are ligaments that attach it, and they get kind of like stiff. So we're going to do this movement. We are in neutral position, and then we're going to bring it back. We're going to try to bring our chin down, and then bring it forward, and bring it back. Hold it for three seconds or so, then do it. Really good. If you can do these neck exercises I showed you for three to five minutes in the morning, you're going to have less neck problems as you get older. It is projected that neck problems are going to increase in children and adults because of our tendency to use cell phones, and we are always looking down like this. We never look up. Unless you're a bird watcher, and then I'm always looking up at the trees, and that can also hurt my neck. So too much of any movement is not good for you. Most of the time, it's good to be neutral, looking straight. But because of cell phones, we are going to be having a lot of neck problems. So doing the neck exercises, just moving them around after a few minutes of like uh, after like half an hour of being, you know, just looking straight on. Uh, it's going to be helpful for you or otherwise as people age this is going to become more pronounced we finish the neck exercises we are going to go to our shoulder and we're just going to rotate them around back and forward back and forward now forward and back forward and back forward and back just a few times and then we're going to take our arm and we're just going to move it up, breathing out, hold it, breathe in, breathe out, then bring it down, then use the other arm, do the same. Don't do loosey-goosey hands. Make sure that your hands and your feet are well planted on the ground. If you use your right hand to further stabilize yourself like I'm doing with this chair, it's going to give you a better stretch. One more time, on the right side, breathing, exercising all our different muscles. Now we're just going to put our hands up like that just for a few seconds. We're going to hold it nice and taut. My palms are looking straight forward. My, my, my elbows are not down. They're up 90 degrees. I have power and energy and I'm connected to the sun and sky with my middle fingers pulling me up, I'm pulling it down. Just imagine these things of power. And imagine we do better. And slowly bring it towards you, touching the hand, then taking it back. Opening your chest, squeezing your scapula. Do this again. Do as much as you can and stop when you can't if you're having too much pain. You may have some issues that you need to resolve. Help your body heal. See how difficult this is? It's not easy. There are no weights. There's nothing. It's just your body and gravity. And after some time, your muscles will ache doing this. 
a good deed. Okay. Movement should be with purpose, and if you keep your hands like nice and tight, all your muscles are getting exercised. Now you can do this. Just put your hands on your shoulder and just move the elbows. And when you come back, just squeeze those scapula. In the process of like releasing those scapula from any kind of tension that there is with these movements. Other way around. Good job, everybody. Keep moving. It's so good. It's loose now. Okay. Now we're going to go to our abdomen muscles. Very important. Strengthen them. Just pick your feet up and put your arms out. I know your arms are tired with all that arm movement, but just do this. Then bring it down, not touching the ground, and bringing it up. Not touching the ground, bringing it up. Both your feet together, do as much as you can. Squeeze your belly. Can you do it? Bring it nice and tight. So practice this. This is for the boat pose, and it's so good for you. Strengthens your abdomen. If you do it on the ground, it's even more powerful. So if you sit on the ground and then do it, it's more difficult. But it is, it's good on the chair also. Okay. <clears throat> now we're going to practice our belly. Just folding over our hip joint as much as we can. Our knees are bent, so it's much easier. You can relax your tummy on your thigh and just bend from the hip down as much as you can and then when you can't just stop touching your toes and getting up breathing in then as you go down breathe out Already feel good juices flowing in my tummy. Ah, so good. Do this movement. And it's very good for our abdomen. Now we're going to do our hip joint. It's a figure of four. So I put my right uh, foot on my, just above my left knee. I don't want to put it on my knee. It's going to hurt it, so I'm going to move it a little bit back. And then it's a figure of four. If you sit like this, it is better than sitting like this because this way you are hurting your popliteal fossa. This is much better. Keep your fingers hot, your toes hot like this. I'll take my shoe out so you can see it better. This way. Then use your right hand to push your knee from the middle, not on the knee, but just, you just push it, feel. Feel how your hip feels when you do this. It's like an uncomfortable feeling, but it's opening something in there. I know it. Breathe and just focus on the breath, even though this is uncomfortable. Just pushing it lightly, keeping your toes flexed like this towards yourself. Breathe. Gently push it down. Breathe. Gently push it down. You can do this when you're sitting somewhere. You're bored. Just do this. It's going to be so good for you. Now we're going to do the other side. Position yourself well. How your feet are. And then... Just push it down gently. Just gently pushing it. Breathing in, breathing out. Then push it, breathe out. 
Breathe in, push out. Opening your hip joint. You need to open your hip joint. Everybody needs to open their hip joint. Get teeth stuck in our hips. Only gymnasts have great hip joints. All of us are like all tight in our hip joints. Now, if you do another thing we never do, is rather than to sit like this, you're going to sit this way for a little bit. You breathe into it, bring your knees together and your feet out. Squeeze. Squeeze your inner thighs. Now we're going to open it. We are going to open our knees out like this. And then we are going to go back to doing this. Then we are going to open our knees wide. And bring it together. And knees wide. Um, now we're going to take our right knee, just bring it, ease it up. Again, bringing your toes facing your legs. Toes are very important. So, bring your toes towards your knees. Practice this if you can, like standing up, holding on to something. Really good. It's going to release a lot of stuff from your intestines. Because when you do it lying down, it really you can massage your abdomen with your legs. So you don't need any pulleys or go lightly or anything. You can just release everything yourself with your own legs. And you can also use this as a balance, you know. When I do this, it's a balance for me. I want you to do this. If you're a sitting person and this is chair yoga, but I want to make sure that people practice balance also. So important. All right. So now we are going to do our very common yoga poses where we bring the right leg out like this and the left leg facing that side. And then we mirror our arms. So where our legs are going, our arms are going, and we hold it up like this. And then I enjoy all the birds who are right all around me, eating, eating, nut hatches, the pit mice. Just focus on that. Focus on my arms. Them as look at the back, look at the front. So my middle fingers are all aligned. And then I bring it back. Then I do it on the other side. Going to be equal. Focusing on the middle fingers, front, back, front, back. Giving my neck exercise also at the same time. So I can feel my arms because I already exercised them so much. Beginning to bother me. Now, use my left arm. Get up. Looking at my arm and then bring it down. And in this position, I do it again, looking it up. It up, down. On the other side, I'll do the same thing. This movement, my arm up. Up. Looking at it, so beautiful, the sky while I'm doing my yoga. Try to find a spot where you can do yoga outside, it's beautiful. I have a beautiful spot in the Eden Reed bird sanctuary there. It's right near the water and we have a little platform and I have always my yoga mat ready to go when I go there and I try to do like half an hour of yoga and meditation near the water. 
So try to find some spots that you like where you can do yoga and meditation. All right, so we're going to do the both pose one more time. It's really good for our abdomen. Down. Bring it up. Down. Bring it up. Down. So good for you. All right, one more time. Padakanasana. Bringing your knees out. If you are able to stand and do anything, you could can do the chair pose. It's really good for you. It really gives you a lot of strength. You really cannot do the chair pose sitting on a chair. You really have to get, get up a little bit and then sit down. If you can do that, practice that a little bit. Good exercise. It does balance, strength, and helps us to practice going to public bathroom without having to sit on it. So, I think with that, we have done a very nice, strenuous uh, chair yoga class today. And I want you to go and enjoy the day and, uh, you know, be well and healthy. And I'll see you sometime in January or maybe February, depending on how the new year comes along. I'm sure Sally will inform you of when the next yoga class will be with me uh, in the winter season and 2023. So, Merry Christmas or whatever holiday you celebrate and Happy New Year and um, enjoy your fall and winter. Thank you. Namaste. Hi, everyone. This is Z from Yonkers Public Library. Thanks so much to Sally Pinto and Alexis from Nork. Thank you to our community partners, WJCS, the City of Yonkers Office for the Aging, Friends of Crestwood Library, and Yonkers Public Library for making this phenomenal partnership. And we thank each and every one of you for being part of our wellness community. Be well, stay well.